the first 9 meter DSX in the world is running. Come on! So we're drilling a cover crop mix. Um, for the international viewers, we've had a very wet autumn, winter and spring here in the UK. We're in the west side of the UK, which is high rainfall anyway. And this is a failed bean crop. Um, so we're putting a cover crop it mix in. It's mid-July. The cover crop will grow July, August, September, and then probably mid, late October. Uh, they will put wheat in the ground um, so you can see it with the job the drills doing in the ground we're actually on a bit of a um, undulation here uh, so you can see the job we're doing this is the closing you get from a horizon drill in heavy clay so our seed is under this zone here put my trowel in we're down at about 40 millimeters underneath this this flap of seed so hold on she's reversing don't know if he was going to stop or not so we'll let him get going again I'm guessing the fan's going to kick on in a second so this is a 90 21 we're on 21 centimeter spacings three granular tanks and a liquid fur we are putting 100 liters of liquid uh, water through just to test the liquid system um, so yeah let's have another look in the soil so this is where our seed will be underneath this inch wide flap of soil at about 40 mil it's a 15 way mix so I won't talk you for everything that's in that mix but you name it in terms of cover crops we got it so various clovers there's maize in there oats in there um, various uh, buckwheat, vetches, etc, etc. So it's a 15-way mix. The idea is then you have a lot of diversity in terms of rooting system and diversity for the biology and the fungi. So hopefully because we got moisture and it's mid-July this will romp away. Uh, so maybe I can come back here and get some um, footage of it for you guys. I thought I'd show you some footage of when I demoed to this customer back in September 2021. So I took our 230 horsepower voucher with our six meter DSX and they were running their 370 horsepower John Deere with a six meter cross slot. Both those tractors are paired nicely to those machines. What's interesting is that John Deere with the cross slot used to operate between 15 and 17 litres of diesel per hectare. Now that John Deere is working on the 9 metre DSX at 5.3 litres of diesel per hectare average. So it's considerably cheaper, almost a third of the diesel costs running the DSX behind that tractor than it is the cross slot, which was really interesting to see. So I'm here in the cab with Derek, the driver. He's declared he doesn't want to speak on the video. 
I will do a bit. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like this horizon. How's it going, Derek? All right? Yeah, it's very good, yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit learning curve, but uh, yeah, it's good. First day out in the field, we've got a happy operator. We're delighted to have a nine meter because it's a high output drill, but the whole concept and design is about creating a wide drill that can keep narrow row spacings. So there are several high output no-till drills out there, but typically on a single bar, typically at 25 centimeter spacings. With this nine meter, uh, we can go at 15, 17 point, sorry, 16.7, 18.7 and 20 or 25 centimeter row spacings. This customer's chosen 21 centimeters because that's what they had on their previous drill. And if possible, if we can do it, we will give customizable row spacings as well. So this one's at 21 centimeters, um, which is perfect for winter crops and spring crops tillering out nicely. Um, plenty of room for trash to go through, but also a lot of light and air going in there, um, getting down when the crop is growing. So um, that sweet spot around 18 to 21, 22 centimeters seems to be where we sell most of our no-till drills. So this nine meter project has been a big project for Horizon over the last uh, year or two. Um, this machine is actually number five that we've built but number one running uh, in full-scale production. So uh, we've built three uh, that are currently on containers at the water, on the water at the sea, heading to Kenya. We have one heading to Colorado in the US. This is number five. The factory are about to finish next week, number six, which is going to a customer in Scotland. And then number seven is sold to Estonia. So we're running seven this year. We're stopping there. We'll see how they go. And then we're taking orders in the winter for next season. He's not going to want to be on camera, but this man here is the technical director for Horizon, Johannes Weber, who very much led the project to design this drill. Happy with it, Johannes? <laughs> so Johannes has come down with Tom Sullivan, who's one of our technical support managers. I think he's on the phone to another customer over there. We've had Talis Amos here as well, who are our local dealer, helping us commission it. So I've got Tom Sullivan, technical, technical service manager, after sales manager for Horizon. Tom's very much commissioned this drill. What are we saying, Tom? Fantastic, yeah, it's going really well, to be honest. Um, yeah, customer likes it, so I'm happy. Happy. Any problems? Nothing as of yet, but it's early days, so hopefully it'll keep on running uh, smooth, as a, smooth as anything throughout the uh, season. Nice, well done, Tom. I'll just show you the closing we're getting on this clay. It's been in no-till and regen ag for seven years, I believe. So it is in good health, but it has gone down very sad. And that's why we've got a failed crop of beans here because it's been so wet. And you can see just what a good job the DSX is doing on closing the slot in those conditions. Around the telegraph pole. His old drill was six meters, so he's just getting used to how big this one is at nine meters. Hello, so it's the 6th of August. Um, I've just driven past this field that we set the nine meter DSX up on. Uh, I'm going to another meeting, I'm in smart clothes, but thought I'd pop in and have a little look at how the cover crop's coming through. So on the whole, we're looking really good. So it's just under three weeks since this was sown. Um, we have had, I don't know how much they've had, but we have had several rain events since then. Um, see how it's got down in these wheelings got that going there's some sort of mist going on there I don't know if that's um, 
offset setting on the GPS, but there does seem to be a miss every nine meters. It's not a blockage, it's, it's a GPS setting um, I need to get right. Um, apart from that, this is looking very, very good. So there's a couple of hard bits around the headland and in the gateway that uh, haven't really come through or just poking through. Um, but on the whole, I'll be pretty happy with that. Awesome. So yeah, very pleased with that. I'll give Jake the farmer a call and see what he thinks. Um, so I'm getting in the car tonight. I'm di driving up to North Aberdeenshire in Scotland, which from the Cotswolds will be, well, I'm stopping with my family en route uh, in Glasgow. My wife is Scottish, so I'll be dropping her and the kids off there. Um, and then we're going to go and set up nine meter DSX number two in the UK um, on Thursday. So see you in Scotland. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling around the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. But that train. Here we are. I'm up in Aberdeenshire, Scotland, right up uh, near the north, near Turriff. You'll see the spring barley behind me. And if we walk in this shed. This new potato store, we will see a shiny new 9 meter DSX. So we've just been putting all the connections on, plumbing her in. Need to tidy it up a little bit, but we're getting all that set up. Then we're going to set the pressure in the tyres, get the frame all level. Get it calibrated, run it up, and take her out the field tomorrow. So we won't, there's a couple of bits to sort. We won't have a play today. We've got a 9.30 Vario on the front. Uh, yeah, it'll be a nice rig. So that is Johannes has arrived. So he's come up from Lincolnshire. Got up at four o'clock this morning and it's now just half one. And he's here in Aberdeenshire. We've got the DSX running, uh, it's coming along in a minute. I'm just hiding behind these bales because it is so windy here uh, and I want you to be able to hear me. So we're drilling a cover crop. It's a crimson clover, buckwheat and fenugreek mix. Four kilos a hectare out of each side of a drill. So eight kilos a hectare total. Um, it's the 9th of August. Andrew the farmer will come back in a couple of uh, weeks and subsoil in his rape. So he'll put his rape in at the end of August, um, but he'll use a subsoiler for that into the existing cover crop. So you'll see we got the 930 fence, that's a 300 horsepower fence on the front. It's quite a nice match. Um, it's a nine meter DSX on 20 centimeter spacings. The spec he's got on it is the VF Michelin tires on the back, the 750s and extra row cleaners. So yeah, quite a nice tidy rig, nice spec. We're running those 750 tires at one bar. So we've got those set at one bar. The very grip on the fence is set at 1.2 bar on the back and uh, 0.8 bar on the front. So um, yeah, quite a light footprint we're running. The tractors barely knows it's on. We'll, we'll have a ride up on in a minute, but uh, sorry, ride up in a minute, but yeah, working very, very easily. Just to watch him die When I hear that whistle blowing I hang my head and cry
operator, first day on the 9 meter DSX. Happy Andy? Better. Very happy. 930 Fent is purring along, 11,000, 12,000 RPM, hardly touching, doesn't know it's fair. Up the hill we're doing about 3.2, 3.4? Roughly, yeah. 3.2, 3.3 litres a hectare. On the flat we're doing about 2.5, downhill we're doing about 2.2. So we're averaging about 3 litres a hectare. Drilling probably 15 acres an hour. Um, sorry, I've gone from metric to imperial. So we've now got the road cleaners running. We've pressurised those down at 2 bar. That fent really doesn't know it's on the back, pulling out that hill so effortlessly. We've got quite a low sun now, so it's not easy to show you what we're doing, but there it is, it's sort of sitting in the shadow. I'm not going to be digging around looking for too much seed because we are at 8 kilos a hectare. It's a very, very little seed, um, but it's closing that slot off really nicely.